In this video, I'm going to discuss the squeeze theorem. Okay, so let's suppose that we uh, have a a function. Okay, that looks like let's say let's say it looks like this. Okay, and we have another function. Let's call it h of x. Okay, and let's have a third function. Let's define that as f, okay? Okay, so given uh, this situation, okay, given these functions, okay, where we have uh, g of x is an upper bound of for f and h of x is a lower bound for for f okay so we have that uh, right h of x okay is less than or equal to f of x and f of x is less than or equal to g of x okay and let's say at this point okay this is some C value, okay? All right, and at C, okay, uh, let's assume that the corresponding value for C is some point, let's call that L. Okay. So, uh, the function, the, the function f, it may, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be defined at that point, okay? It could be a, um, a removable discontinuity there, okay? So what this squeeze theorem says is that, again, given that our function is bounded, okay? Uh, so we have a lower, we have what's called a lower bound, okay? And g is our upper bound. Okay, so given the situation, okay, if the limit, okay, so if the limit of h of x as, a, as x approaches c is equal to L and the limit of g of x as x approaches c is also equal to L, then therefore, Okay, we can conclude that, okay, the limit as x approaches c, okay, so in other words, the limit of f as x approaches c is also equal to L, okay. All right, so, so again, so to use this squeeze theorem, we need to uh, bound the function, okay. So we bound it using, we have a lower bound, an upper bound, and if the limit of the lower bound, right, as x approaches some point c, is equal to the limit of the some upper bound as x approaches some point, is also equal to, right, the same value, okay, that's L, right, if those two limits are equal, then therefore the limit of the function in between as x approaches the same point is also equal to L, okay.